Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to discuss a specific part of preparing for your pre-sentence interview. And we're going to go to, this is my, my website, pprsus.com, Physician Pre-Sentence Report Service. <clears throat> and if you go to the tabs and go to pre-sentence interview, that'll bring you to this page. And so in addition to providing copies of everything that the officer wants, and this will include your personal identification, and it it would consist of copies of your driver's license, social security card, passport, birth certificate, all of your financials, and a lot more that I'll go through at the bottom of this page. You also want to have a comp your complete biographical background. And here, what I like to key it, or what I find important, is making sure that you have a comprehensive, if you have a medical issue, that you have a comprehensive and complete medical file present to the probation officer ahead of time. And this includes if you're taking medications, making sure that the medicine or the generic medications you're taking are available through the Federal Bureau of Prisons on their formula. And if it's not, then weeks before this, you and your legal team and, or counsel should have beginning to prepare a plan that would involve your current treating physicians. In addition, <clears throat> the most important person that you're about to meet is going to be the probation officer for many reasons, but they also have sway with the judge and they can recommend a sentence and a placement. And so you want to have written a complete personal narrative that you will submit along with all of the other documentation. In addition, a release plan, while it seems a bit premature and at first glance it is, you need to have a release plan because every judge is going to ask you in some way why you're at sentencing, that you have anything to say, what is your plan? Um, they don't want to see you back in their courtroom. And so a release plan that you have in writing, and it doesn't need to be complicated to start, will begin to answer some of these questions before you actually have the interview with the judge or have the, your conversation with the judge. But it, this happens all in front of your probation officer. So now to the topic of this. The probation officer, and this doesn't happen all the time, but they have a probation report that this is the beginning of an example that I'm going to show you. But the, at times, and I've had it where clients have actually been able to fill out their own prebate probation report. And at other times they were not given it to fill out, but you would like to see if you can ask for it, which would allow you to put your best foot forward, so to speak. And at the same time, it can save some of the work that the probation officer has to do. So what does this probation report look like? I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. And you will get this from the probation officer, hopefully you don't have to ask for it, but if you, if you can sense that you're not going to get it, they may be able to send you something, but this covers everything that they need to know other than who you are. And even that's put into here in different, in different places. It gives basic information, your address, contact person, background characteristics, <clears throat> wherever you've lived, parents, if they're alive or deceased, your family history, but they want to know, you know, Describe who raised you. Talk about any problems during childhood. Is the family aware of the offense? And do they support you? But all of this, you can have pre-planned for as you write your personal narrative. And that allows then the probation officer to copy-paste right in here what you've written. But it has to be a well-thought-out, well-written narrative. Who do you spend most of your time with? Your criminal history? All of this is important. And you've gone through, does a partner have a criminal history? This gives you an outline of sorts as to at least how to start writing your personal narrative, because it has to include all of these different items, but in a narrative form. And it starts from when you were a child to what brought you to break the, you know, break the law where you're standing in front of the judge or the probation officer today. So it's a very, it's a very big deal. And so this is the form or some variation thereof that you could get copies at the bottom of this, hopefully, if I remember correctly, it's like go down the page. Here we go. So additional copies of all your personal identification, biographical background, divorce, financial records, all the diplomas. I don't care if you're a physicist. If you don't have a, a diploma, um, 
or a cert or a certificate saying that you know you're a physicist and you graduated, they're going to make you take the GED, marriage certificate, naturalization papers. All of these you can see also need to be included. But the goal is for you to try and get a copy of the pre this the pre their pre trial or the probation officer's report worksheet that allows you to give you a baseline to work with. I hope you found this helpful. And I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video today. Have a great day and stay safe.